Hello everyone, how are you all doing? I'm hoping that each and every one of you is having an amazing time. So thank you for tuning into today's podcast and a very, very warm welcome. So today I want us to talk about how Charles continues to play victim. It's been four years now since Prince Harry and Meghan left and I think the whole world knows why Harry and Meghan left that toxic environment. Everyone knows uh, what happened to Harry and Meghan but then you see the members of the royal family still pretending as though they are the ones who are victims like Harry and Meghan wronged them like as if Harry and Meghan are continuing to do the wrong things. Well, we all know the ones whom are still leaking stories about Harry and Meghan. The ones who would not lift a finger to help Harry or even Meghan or their kids. And you know what's really, really pathetic? It's when, uh, when we see negative stories about the other members of the royal family. For example, now we have the Prince Andrew story. We have the story about the monarchy having, uh, being so low in popularity. There is literally so many negative things to say about the other members of the royal family. And when you see this, that's when uh, the British press bring in so many positive stories again to distract people from what is happening. They bring in so many other stories to distract people from seeing what is truly happening. You know, they want this Prince Andrew situation to go on very fast. They want it to disappear very quickly. That's why you see them writing so many articles. Recently, they released the story about King Charles being on a mission to bring back Prince Harry. And they thought that that story was going to kill off the story about Prince Andrew. But then it didn't because people can truly see that that is not happening. As long as Harry doesn't have a home in the UK, as long as Harry still doesn't have security, as long as Harry is still in court with the British media, that is not happening. It's not happening because Charles has not lifted a finger to help Harry. And then now we have this story saying that King Charles repeatedly phoned Harry to say Queen had died but calls didn't go through. Who is Charles trying to fool? Well, this is according to an excerpt of a book that is supposed to be released on October 17th of this year. October 17th is still very, very far. But then the media, which I believe is in coordination with the royal family, decide that they are going to release this story to make Charles look like uh, he is the good father, to make him look like he is the victim and Harry is the one who's always not wanted to communicate with his father. I think everyone needs to look at Charles's actions instead of his carefully crafted PR campaign to make him look like a sad, disappointed father who would welcome the prodigal son home at any moment. You know, Harry has shown him love and grace in both the Oprah interview and his book, yet Charles's royal rota have exploited Harry's vulnerability to create this imaginary possibility that Charles doesn't want to grind Prince Harry to bits beneath his heel. They always make him the victim. They always make Charles look like he's very welcoming to Prince Harry and that he's always calling Prince Harry and trying to make things right with him. Charles may try to build his image, but one thing is very clear. He has failed at every step. He failed to protect Diana. He still has failed to protect Harry, Archie and Lilibet and even Meghan. And then he even failed to address the racism. He even failed to announce the Queen's death to Prince Harry. Elizabeth II did what was needed to talk to Harry in the middle of the night in Montecito when Prince Philip died. The reason why I don't believe what uh, these people are telling us right now is because in Harry's memoir he wrote that when the plane started to descend I saw my mobile phone light up it was a message from Megan call me as soon as you read this 
I checked the BBC web uh, the BBC web page. My grandmother had died. My father was the king. I put on a black tie and stepped off the plane into heavy drizzle. That is what Prince Harry wrote. And now these people are trying to tell us that a member of the palace staff says that the king had, be, had been urgently trying to make contact with his younger son. There were repeated attempts to get through to him, but no, no calls were going through because Harry was airborne. So from Harry's book, you can clearly see that Harry was on a plane, so his phone must have been off. Of course, you can't call someone when they are on the plane. You can't get to them. So these people are trying now to make Prince Harry look like he is the bad one. Clearly, the circumstances were just unavoidable. It was not Prince Harry's fault that his father could not get to him. So Prince Harry had to find out about his grandmother's passing before uh, on BBC. Just imagine how heartless these people are. And I even remember that Prince Harry wrote in his book that when his father called him, he told him that he should not bring her. And by her, he was meaning Meghan. The only thing that King Charles thought for the first time after becoming king was to call Harry and to remind him not to bring Meghan because she was going to overshadow them at Balmoral. How wicked of King Charles. And now he's acting like the victim because he could not get to Harry fast enough to tell him not to bring Meghan. You think of the actions that Prince Harry went through and its malignant humiliation. What Prince Harry went through at that specific time, I don't think anyone in any family should feel this kind of uh, unworthiness and no love at all. They didn't allow him to come with the only person who could encourage him, who could be beside him during this difficult time. And still, he was trying to call his only brother, Prince William, but then Prince William was ignoring Prince Harry's calls and then he flew to Balmoral without Prince Harry. All this still stands out and no one is going to erase that. And people are still wondering why Prince Harry distanced himself from these people. It's because of their actions. It's because of their continuous hatred towards Prince Harry's wife, it's because of their continuous playing like victims. Why can they for once take responsibility for their actions? Why can they for once just say that uh, we were wrong here and we are asking for forgiveness? Why can they do that? Prince Harry said that he has already done his part and the ball is now on the other members of the royal family's court. They are the ones who need to uh, talk to Prince Harry, apologize first to his wife, and then the relationship can move on. But from what I'm seeing, it seems like that is something that is never going to happen. These people are continuing to brief the press just to make Prince Harry look like the bad one. They are continuing to play victims. They are continually using Prince Harry as the scapegoat to try and make their negative stories go away. Or what do you think about this? Do you think that it's really what happened? Or do you think it's just a story to distract people from the numerous negative stories about the royal family? Well, let me know what you think concerning this. And I will see you all squaddies on the next podcast. Have a wonderful and amazing, amazing time. Goodbye.